Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters coming together as God's family, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Your word became flesh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your word speaks to the nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your word lives in our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Ever-living God, lead and guide us in your mercy. May we proclaim the name of your beloved Son through our good works. We ask this through Christ our Lord. reading from the book of Nehemiah. Ezra, the priest, brought the law before the assembly, which consisted of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. Standing at one end of the open place that was before the water gate, he read out of the book from daybreak till midday, in the presence of men, women, and those children old enough to understand. And all the people listened attentively to the book of the law. Ezra, the scribe, stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the occasion. He opened the scroll so that all the people might see it, for he was standing higher up than any other people. And as he opened it, all the people rose. Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God. And all the people, their hands raised high, answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and prostrated themselves before the Lord, their faces to the ground. Ezra read plainly from the book of the law of God, interpreting it, so that all could understand what was read. Then Nehemiah, that is his excellency, and Ezra the priest scribe and the Levites, who were instructing the people, said to all the people, today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep for all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. He said further, go, eat rich foods and drink sweet drinks, and a lot of portions to those who had nothing prepared. For today is holy to our Lord. Do not be sad this day, for rejoicing in the Lord must be your strength. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, we were all given to drink of one spirit. You are Christ's body, and individually, parts of it. All are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, do all work mighty deeds, do all have gifts of healing, do all speak in tongues. The word of the Lord. for some. 
For as human beings, we crave what is familiar and comfortable. In Nehemiah, the people witnessed the renewal and rebuilding of Jerusalem. Those were interesting times. In 1 Corinthians, they are part of the formation of Christ's church. These two were times of interest. They were filled with anxiety, but also filled with hope, a gift from God. What do we face? For, for us, what is new? Certainly our times are filled with anxiety because these are interesting times. Yet God takes interest in us. We are God's beloved children. The Spirit fills us with hope in each other, in Christ. In Him, we become our church. Let us pray together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to the Lord. A response, lead us, Lord, that the Holy Spirit may guide the life of the church, we pray. Yes, Lord. That God's people may continue to witness in the world, we pray. Yes, Lord. That faith in Jesus may relieve all fear, we pray. Yes, Lord. That God's word may lead all peoples to peace, we pray. Yes, yes, Lord. That Christ may tend the needs of all, remembering John and Regina Amstead, Joseph, Helen, Philip, Ewan, Anne Lisek, Don Miser, Edward Okab, Intentions of Marilyn Ofenlock. And for the protection of the unborn and newly born, we pray. Lead us, Lord. Loving God, we gather in your name. We offer you our prayers and our gifts of bread and wine. We ask you to receive what we offer through Christ our Lord.
friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, accept the gifts we offer and make them holy. May they lead us to salvation. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right. We thank you, God our Father. You made us to live for you and for each other. We can see and speak to one another and become friends and share our joys and sorrows. And so, Father, we gladly thank you with everyone who believes in you, with the saints and the angels. We rejoice and praise you as we sing. this table and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. 
Through this sacred meal, give us strength to please you more and more. Lord our God, remember Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and all other bishops. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. Bring us all at last, together with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, to live with you and to be one with Christ forever. <clears throat> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us pray. Loving God, together we have shared in the Eucharist by your grace. May it lead us to eternal life. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.